Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for another What's for Dinner. Um, these are just some quick meals that we have just throughout the week in our home. So these meals are actually from two different weeks because I forgot to film a lot of times. So you'll get to see just a basic idea of some of the meals that we have in our home. Um, and hopefully it will help with your meal planning as well. So let's see what we got. So this recipe I actually got from Ruth Zimmerman. She is one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. I think she also has a YouTube channel. So I will link her Instagram and her YouTube channel down below. But um, so all this is, is I made some bacon, okay? Um, and you leave the bacon grease. Thankfully it's uncured bacon. So there's not like really, really bad stuff in there. But um, you leave what, so, and also this bacon doesn't leave a lot of grease either. So um, you leave the grease in there, dice up some potatoes, and then some chicken breast, and you mix it all together. And I'm gonna put it in the oven for um, 45 minutes on 425. All right, so this is some raw cheddar cheese. I actually got this from Azure Standard. It is amazing, you guys. Um, if you have an Azure standard drop near you, oh my gosh, you need to get some of that. We got like a big five pound block. So I shredded it up and then I also have that some of some, not all, some of that bacon. I made some homemade ranch. I've got our salad as our side. Um, but when it comes out of the oven, I'm going to take this and sprinkle it on top along with half a cup of ranch and I'm going to mix it all in and then take the cheese and sprinkle it all over the top. Put it back in the oven to bake just long enough till the cheese is all melty and yummy. And then I have some green onions I'm gonna chop up and put on the top. All right, so this is the mixture. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. It is all done. So I'm just gonna add my other stuff. aminos in there we use that in the place of soy sauce usually and then over here I have some rice that is getting ready to get going and so we're just going to cook that up and I've got some frozen mixed vegetables and we're going to make a fried rice a chicken fried rice and then I also have some little frozen wontons from Costco that we're going to put as a side and a bunch of zucchini and carrots that I'm going to make to go with this as well as a side and that will be dinner. And this is like a 20 minute meal, you guys. And everybody loves it and it's really filling. And so that is what is for dinner tonight. All right, so this is our fried rice with the zucchini and everything. And then there's the little wontons that go with it. And so that is going to be our dinner tonight. All right, so tonight is a really easy, easy dinner. We've had kind of a busy day. This is just some chicken breast thrown in the air fryer with just a little bit of seasoning salt on it. Um, I made our homemade ranch and made a big yummy salad with lots of veggies and some raw cheddar cheese in it. So we are going to have cut up chicken on salad for dinner tonight. 
All right, so this is the salad all put together. This is one of my favorite meals this time of year when it's really warm outside and we've just had a busy day. Everybody in our family loves it. So that is dinner for tonight. All right, so for dinner tonight, I actually had a Costco run today. So I just picked up one of their cannellonis for our dinner tonight and you just bring it home and you bake it. It's like in their um, meat section or whatever. And um, we are going to have some asparagus with it. So just a really simple dinner, but it looks really good and smells really good. And we love asparagus. So that is gonna be dinner for tonight. Hey guys, it's another what's for dinner night. And Sophia is actually gonna be helping me tonight. And we are gonna do something super, super simple. This is, <laughs> I love meals that I can just throw together that aren't necessarily a recipe. It's been a busy day. We had co-op today, we had ballet, all that kind of stuff. And so it's actually past our dinner time. So we're just gonna throw something together really quick. So we've got these organic red potatoes that we're gonna cook up in here. We just um, quarter them up and cook them basically in a little bit of oil with um, butter and garlic and salt. Super easy there. And then we've also got some zucchini. We've got three of those and some really small heads of broccoli. So we're gonna throw all of those on this big pan right here. And um, also, we're, we've got some chicken breasts that we're gonna throw on that pan too and do kind of a sheet pan dinner. And so that's what we're gonna be working with tonight. So we're gonna get started and then share what it looks like when we're all done. Are you gonna help us too? Are you putting on an apron too? Huh? Are you gonna help too, buddy? Yay, Noah! <laughs> All right, so this is dinner. It is all done. We've got our broccoli and zucchini and a little bit of Brussels sprouts I had left in the fridge along with the chicken. I cooked the chicken first um, for about 15 minutes on here and then I added in the vegetables um, so it wasn't cooking with the raw chicken and they didn't need to be cooked as long. And then the yummy garlic and butter potatoes. So that is gonna be dinner. So for tonight, I am making our lemon garlic shrimp pasta, except with chicken. So this will be done in about 12-ish more minutes. I've got, I am using this kind of pasta that I got from Costco. And I'm using one and a half bags um, of that. And so it's the, the pasta is cooking back here. And then we have this. We've got some garlic bread in the oven. So, we are super excited about dinner. It's going to be delicious. This is the finished product. It's definitely better with shrimp. I will link my original recipe down below. Tonight, I'm going to be making just some mahi-mahi. It's a super easy recipe. I had some mahi-mahi in the freezer and thought it sounded good. So, I'm just using some pepper, some salt, a lemon, some really good butter. You want to have good butter and um, some garlic, and I'm taking the easy way out with the garlic tonight. So I have some, some sweet potatoes in here that are just cut up and tossed in olive oil with some salt and pepper, and those are cooking in here, and I'm also gonna be making some Brussels sprouts. Life is a winding road Telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really want to know, really want to know Alright guys, so that is our what's for dinner for our large family of eight. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love if you would push that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys on future videos. Thanks so much guys and have a blessed day. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high.